ഓണബിൾ മെമ്പർ ശ്രീ ജസ്ബീർ സിംഗ് ഗിൽ താങ്ക് യു ചെയർമാൻ സർ ഐ ഡോണ്ട് ഡൗട്ട് ആൻഡ് ടെൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ബട്ട് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ദ ഓണബൾ എഫ് എം മാം ടു ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഓഫ് യു പോയിന്റ്സ് although the insolvency and bankruptcy code was formulated to help bring willful defaulters fall in line enabling the financial institution and creditors to recover their dues it has actually turned into a two sided sword although this bill did result in the recovery of bad loans from a few big debtors it has also turned into a tool for small and medium enterprises which may be facing genuine stress for a temporary phase during the normal conduct of their business this law gives the right to any secured creditor or an appraisal creditor to move to nclt under this law providing a debtor owes them anything more than rupees 1 lakh which is a minuscule amount in today's time and an obligation of this sort of amount is normal for any running business this has resulted in this law being used more like a recovery tool by professional and secure creditors which is also bringing the small and medium enterprises to their knees due to the severe provisions of this law secondly there should be a provision in this law to fix a responsibility on the bankers who on the first hand approve a project based on the project report to sanction loans to the business after charging hefty processing fees and then subsequently move to nclt declaring the same very business as unviable this would prove as a deterrent for the lenders to be more vigilant both while sanctioning the project loan and then approaching lc lt at the first very instance furthermore necessary amendment should be brought into this law to make it amply clear that intention of this law is to help business especially SCME to restructure their borrowings to offer them a new lease of life through sustained resolution plans and not to choke them abruptly as soon as they hit a lean patch in normal course of business Premanji. this will go long way not only in helping Gallai. overall economic sit, growth sit. of the country but will also safeguard billions of job and the resultant livelihood of scores of genuine entrepreneurs sir there is a unannounced financial crunch in india such crises appear to public slowly i think current situation is only first phase of the crisis increasing nps means scarcity of capital which means no fresh investment the glorification of bankruptcy law and continuous scams and closure of the companies will lead to cutting of more jobs leading to joblessness and frustration of youth huge inventory in the real estate sector be it ncr metros big city or tier 2 and 3 cities homes are not being sold which means sale of steel cement bathroom fittings plywood tiles marble declining with this nps will grow and go deep into individual level by making way crisis go deeper vehicle sales are at its lowest step with around 3500 thousand crores worth of vehicle being left unsold India's leading car manufacturer Maruti has cut down production by 50% and this is the first time in our country which commutes on two wheelers its demand is slowing 
showing negative growth, which means reduction in demand for spare tires and other accessories. The above three things are meant to end crores of job, decrease tax revenue, and in this scenario, government will impose due taxes to even the losses. Government hands over profit in private hands and deficit in go government account burdening people more. Public sector undertakings and properties are sold to the government's favorite corporate houses. Financial crisis in India will be clearly visible around March 2020. Average Indians are unaware of this. For a few years, even the so just, just concluding, sir. Even the FMG sector is in grip of uh, recession. Sir, so my request to the Honorable Finance Minister that government should not tighten the news around unwillful defaulters in SCME. In these trying times, government should come out with the policy that helps entrepreneurs to come out of these hard trying times by catching their hand by not drowning them with these type of stringent laws thank you yes